107.5 WBLS, your number one source for R&B. 107.5 WBLS, uh, Robin Thicke is talking about that moment on BET. He said he's glad I enjoyed it because it was all a blur to him. Yeah. Uh, why? Well, uh, just because um, it, it, it's a very emotional song. And right. so, uh, it, you know, very rare. I, that, I don't even think I opened my eyes the whole performance. I don't remember really. Was you know, that your I first was... time performing that song? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Any, anywhere, yeah. Really? Yeah, I hadn't even really played it since I wrote it, and I, it was one of the first songs that I wrote for the album, so I hadn't played it in, in a couple months. Okay. So, so it was kind of emotional. I am going to assume that the reason why the na- the album is named Paula is because of what you're going through right now personally. Well, yeah, you know, she's uh, she's been my best friend and uh, and um, you know, since we were teenagers, you right. know. So I remember when when uh, when something, you know, like this happens in your life, um, you know, you want to talk if you're an artist and you're a writer, you know, you want to talk about it. And right. once I, you know, the, the, not all the songs are necessarily just about her, but they're about how I feel right now without right. her and missing her, feeling sorry, wanting to apologize to her. So it's all these different feelings that a person goes through when they lose the love of their life. Well, besides going to get the album, uh, what advice could you give to a fellow who's listening right now who's going through the same thing? Don't do it. Anything I did. <laughs> and, and no, I'm just kidding. You know, no, no, I loved her. You know, I mean, we had the best. We had, we had the most amazing love for so long. And, you know, sometimes people grow apart. They don't, you know, they're not together enough to work things out. Or, that you know, there's no time to work things out. And, mm-hmm. you know, and life moves on, you know. Do you think that it will come back together though i have i have no idea i, I really I don't even know what i'm doing i just made the the, the music so fast and right. i just put it out and well I just, usually that's the best stuff yeah you know because it comes from a very honest place well i think it started because you know i wanted i had so much to, t- to tell her that i wanted to say you know and her and i weren't talking for a while so i just started to put it all into the album you know so did you send her the album um no i don't know what she's heard yet you want me to send it to her? Please. I can mail it to her. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could pick one song on here, uh, we played Forever Love. I love that song. Yes. Another song that really comes from that honest place. I'm sure the whole album does, but yeah, you there's can a pick- few. But um, the one that uh, that I really like, that's very powerful, and I and I really like performing it now, uh, is uh, called Lock the Door. And have you, have you heard that what one? message? Locked no, I haven't heard that. What, what's the message in that song? When, when when a woman's had enough and she locks the door. Yeah, she's about done. <laughs> she no Finish. no the door is locked. Yes, it's, <laughs> it, she's done. Like when R. Kelly said, "When a woman is fed up, it's pretty yeah. pretty pretty much done." Yeah. Uh, if you could put together in three songs your life soundtrack, whoa, what songs would you choose? Let's say your R and B soundtrack. Wow. Um, well, I love uh, you know what's going on, Marvin Gaye, because I'm I'm a real spiritual guy, and I believe in love and equality and fairness and friendship, and, right? And and what's going on kind of embodies that spirit. Of and all, it's still of, very relevant today. Of, yeah, of yeah. all of us being on the same page, you right? Know? And <clears throat> and let's stay together because I feel like the the simplicity of of no matter what happens, you know, let's stay together. I like mm-hmm. that. It's probably a classic. And then don't stop till you get enough. Really? Oh, that's me too. <laughs> <laughs> so would you ever redo a Michael Jackson cut? Actually, in, in my, most of my performances, I do rock with you. Do you? And on, and when Quincy re-released his album, uh, he, he released a guest appearance, his album, I sang one of the songs for Quincy. Oh, get out of yeah. here. All right, so we have to look that up. Uh, and make sure you see Robin Thicke in uh, concert so that you can see that performance. Now, are you going to yes. be in our area anywhere soon? No, I'm I'm heading to Europe for uh, a month or so, and then um, and then uh, be back here and start setting up some dates here. Okay, so we're just yeah. going to have to hold on to Paula. Just hold on to Paula. Uh, Paula get, until get to know it first, because I want I want I want everybody to have a minute with it. Cause yes, yeah, you and might, absorb it. Yeah, before you might want to absorb it a little bit. Yeah, walk, walk, cleanse yourself <laughs> with it. <laughs> So have you ever, <laughs> you know, then he'll come to New York City and perform for of us. Course, of course. Now, have you ever lived in New York City? Uh, for, for months at a time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you love about New York City? Well, there's nothing Besides to WBLS, because I know course. that's what you're going to say first. Well, no, it's the, uh, to me, it's the center of the world. You know, yes. it's the center of uh, creativity and, uh, and um, originality and uh, individuality. 
So uh, those are my favorite things. Really? Yeah. Uh, when you come to New York, you have to have blank. Fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, everybody has yeah, fun. I don't, I don't really have, uh, there's a whole bunch of spots that, that I like to eat at. I, but I, I will, I'll shout my boy out. Uh, Richie Akiba, I like to go to uh, his restaurants and his and his club Up and Down. He's been one of my best friends it, for 15 it's years. It's called so. Up and Down? Yeah, Up and Down. Really? Yeah. Shout out to Richie Akiba. Ah, right. So <laughs> tell us what Living in New York City, the album cut, is all about. Well, Living in New York City actually came when um, Paula, um, sh she said she wanted to move to New York City, so I wrote a Living in New York City song. Oh, <laughs> you're just going to make me cry here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get this album to Paula somehow, some way. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure she'll listen to it when she's ready. Oh, so living in New York City is about Paula when she said that she wanted to live. Well, in New York. she says the song starts with uh, her saying, "I'm moving to New York." Oh, so this is actually her audio. It was her voice. Yeah, I asked yeah. her to do me a favor and send me a little recording of her saying, "I'm moving mm -hmm. to New York." So she says, "I'm moving to New York," and then and then I. And then I get all excited. I'm like, all right, well, I guess we're moving to New York. Then. <laughs> well, it's I'm like, I'm moving to New York, too. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be one of the best moves. I'm hoping all the best for you and Paula. <laughs> thank and, you. Thank you. Uh, how's the baby? The baby is amazing. How old is he now? Uh, four years old. Four wow. years old. Yeah, it happens fast. Time goes by so fast. So yeah. I, I wish you nothing but the best. And I know the album Paula is going to be a big hit with everybody, <laughs> including those brothers who messed up and are trying to find their way. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> so catch it on iTunes. That's where you can get it. Robin Thicke and Paula living in New York City on 107.5 <laughs> WBLS.